For years, you watched as your leaders apologized for America. Now you have a president who will never apologize for America, but only will stand up for America. We will not bend. We will not break. We will never give in. We will never give up. We will never back down. And we will always fight on to victory. We will always be victorious. Wow, is that is so powerful. Oh my God, we're living in such a fucking great time, man. We got a fucking leader that just, that leads, man. Oh, he's so fucking, oh, wow. You heard that shit, man? It's Donald J. Trump, President of the United States. What a speaker. Can you imagine if Donald Trump, if you could imagine, imagine for a moment, go join me, imagine for the moment, oh, for the moment, fucking, if we had a leader that that fought on behalf of the american people that really that really had the vision and the fortitude to to make things happen on behalf of the people someone with the great orator skills as donald trump right can you imagine that shit? so my name is marcus conti uh opinionist today and i'm going to take a deep dive deep trump dive deep trump dive diving into the deep trump the deep Trump, the deep dive of Trump. <laughs> so, so how you guys like in the uh, comments down below? These are these are real comments, right? Most of the people that you follow on YouTube are a bunch of fucking phonies, right? And they 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 delete all their comments, right? In other words, if you post something and uh, if you're in their chat and you post something, and you think that that you know that it's being posted, right? Just clear it and then go back later and you realize that they they shadow ban you. Most of them, I don't know, I'm maybe it's just me, but I'm shadow banned on most of the favorite most of my favorite stations have shadow banned me. Not for saying anything, for just my mere presence. Fucking hey man, this is fucking bullshit. Right? So but anyway, I just hope I hope you realize that uh, the comments on my videos are uncensored. And if that offends you and if people acting like jackasses and sticking their foot in their mouths all the time offends you, then this isn't your channel. Go somewhere else. <laughs> because this is this is a, the First Amendment. It's a freedom of speech, right? Right? You fucking think I give a fuck about? Yeah, this is what I think about your fucking stupid comment. If you if you dissing on me, right? I don't give a shit. Right? Because it's your it's your right to say it. It's your right to say it and act like an, an idiot and, and where everybody sees that you're a fucking idiot. All right, so let's take a deep dive into the, the mind of Donald Trump. That was, I mean, that's some brilliant or, oration, right? We have a great president, great orator, great speaker, powerful, so powerful. Oh, my God, people love him. They love this president. They fucking love this president. They fucking love him, right? love Trump right? so let's let's look at more so that's that's the power of Trump all right let's see what else he's got to say we're gonna talk he's gonna talk about four things he's gonna talk about the economy right this is a speech uh, that he gave uh, a rally uh, in uh, Springfield M Missouri right and this is just the other day this is uh, the 20th of uh, September 21st or something I don't know it's just he just did it right it's a brand new fresh this is not like Vintage Trump. This is fresh Trump. Fresh Trump going forward, right? Fresh Trump going forward, and he's going to speak about the economy. He's going to speak about the, the the evil of the Democrats and the and the, the beauty of the Republican. Right? He's going to speak about uh, health care in America, the state of health care in America, and and how what we really need. And then he's going to talk about uh, he's going to talk about military. So let's look at the first one. We're gonna we're gonna take a deep dive, and we're gonna take a look at what. What our president, what our great leader is, is, is thinking and feeling about these issues. So let's look at first the economy. Donald J. Trump. We have the best economy in our history today. Today. In fact, the stock market, which to me is jobs, the stock market hit an all-time high again. Think of it. 
Stock market's up 55 percent. Your 401ks, your 401ks are up 50, 60, 70 percent in some cases. Economic growth, the last quarter, hit 4.2 percent. Unthinkable. Unthinkable. Jobless claims just fell to a nearly 50-year low. Jobless claims. Isn't that nice? Think of it. Jobless claims. So, number one, the people are happy. Number two, the country saved over a fortune. Think of it. We've lifted almost 4 million Americans off food stamps, saving a fortune, and they're happy. Oh, there's a lot right there. You saw all that shit? Oh, my God. Let me fucking get to this. Holy shit. So, stock market. The stock market is up. Donald J. Trump is pointing out that the stock market is up. That means, to him, the stock market is jobs. The stock market is jobs, right? Because if there's a stock market, then there's jobs, right? That the one equals the other, right? That's what the President of the United States just said, right? But there is no fucking correlation anymore. And he knows that. Trump knows that. All right. He's saying that he's saying that uh, the, your 401ks are up. Your 401ks are up. But the fact is that only 50 million people in the country actually have a 401k anymore. And they're very minimal and they're, they're not really. The, and the other thing about about this is fictitious money. Right. What what the president what Trump is talking about is an old theory of Reaganomics. It's 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 fictitious money. It's. What uh, you don't hear the term anymore, but it used to be called voodoo economics or fuzzy math, right? where they they cre they crunch these numbers like like he's saying four million, you know, four million pe four million new jobs. But the fact is that that's normal because there's about a three million job loss, right? And it's a it's a it's an average, right? It's it's fucking the bullshit numbers, right? He's touting. He's touting fake numbers. What are the real numbers? One in seven on food stamps. 80% of the country is living paycheck to paycheck. And and 65, a whopping 65% of the country. That's one in six people. Not one. That's, that's six in 10 people. Six in 10 people don't have $400 to their name. That is fucking mind-blowing. Those are the real facts, right? You can tout unemployment and, and unemployment claims or, you know, uh, job jobless claims are down, but the fact is, people are stuck in 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 dead end jobs, and 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 uh, you know they, they they're not happy. They're not happy. He touted that that number about about food stamps. That's bullshit. That's a fucking bullshit number, right? And why is the stock market up anyway? The stock market is up because all these slime bags took all their tax money. All the corporate corporate entities took their tax money and they bought back their own stock. Why? Because the stock, their their uh, compensation packages are tied to a higher stock price. It's a fictitious number. I mean, yes, the stock market is up and it is at an all time high, but it doesn't equate to jobs. It doesn't equate to uh, money in the pocket of regular Americans because, again, it's fictitious money. 401k plans are money in, on the side. It's not money that you can spend. It's, it's fictitious, fictitious money, fictional money for later. Someday you're going to have that money, but you never get it because the second that, the second that people start making a move towards taking their money out, like, like if, if a market crashes and your shit comes down, right? They take their money off the table first and leave you holding the bag. That's what Wall Street does. So that's, he's touting over and over these fictitious numbers. It sounds good. And he's, he's brilliant at doing it, but it's, it's, it's bullshit, bullshit numbers. So let's, let's look at some more. So the next thing he talks about, we're going to look at some, um, all right. So now, so that's the economy. He's talking about, he talks, oh, he also talks about, uh, I'll mention that one too. He talked about, um, you know, Steve Jobs, not Jobs, but Apple, how $300 million, I don't know what the numbers are, just roll it back and take a look. But millions and millions of dollars, uh, billions of dollars that, that were parked offshore, right? He's speculating that they're going to bring that money back. They're going to bring that money back. No, they don't bring it back. The corporations don't, they don't reciprocate. They take that money and they run. Right. Yeah. Okay. Apple's building a, a headquarters and a and a new you know empire in the U.S. and they're 
they're going to spend $5 billion. But they stole $300, $700, $400 billion. They steal so much money and don't pay any tax. And you saw Apple, Tim Cook, great guy. They're bringing in $350 billion, and they're going to be building facilities all over, including an incredible campus. And $230 billion is coming from offshore because of our new tax bill. It's coming from offshore. And they're spending it in our country. Our country. So now let's watch the master illusionist pit one team against the other. Right? Because that's that's what it is. That's the game. The game is. I thought Trump was a was a was was in the middle. Was non biased. Was remember in the in the in the campaign he's for the people, and now all of a sudden he's 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 playing the, the classic classic politics where he's trying to he's taking he's trying to pit people against each other. Democrat against Republican. Right. The R against the D. Which one are you? You got to be with me. If you're with me, you're you're an R. If you're with if you're not with me, you must be a D. Right. It's just bullshit. It's 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 just a classic, you know, word game of, of uh, politics. Now, are we Democrats? Are we Republicans? No, I think the, the, the vast majority of the people have stepped away from all that stuff. Right. They've stepped away from that stuff. Here's this guy blaming. He's saying that the Democratic Party is controlled by a bunch of fucking hippies wearing black hats and black T-shirts. <laughs> Antifa. That's by coincidence, by the way. I'm no fucking Antifa. But but these he's he's saying that that there's a bunch of radical left that the that these young children kids running around are controlling the party when it's not. It's the corporate money. Right? Come on, Trump. Come on, Donald. You know, you know the deal. Let's watch some more. The Democrat Party is held hostage by far left activists, by angry mobs, Antifa, by deep state radicals. They want to destroy your health care. They want to destroy your wealth. That's what they're going to do. They want to take it away. We need some more Republicans. We need some more Republicans. We need some more Republicans. The new platform of the Democrat Party is radical socialism, and they're going to kill your Medicare, and they're going to kill your Medicaid. They're going to kill everything that you cherish and that you want. But we need more Republicans. Republicans want to protect Medicare. Democrats want to raid Medicare to pay for their socialism will end up being another Venezuela. Democrats want to destroy Medicare with so-called Medicare for all, robbing our seniors of the benefits they paid into for their entire lives. Republicans want to protect Medicare for our great seniors who have earned it and paid for it for many, many years they've been paying for it. So there's some staggeringly inaccurate fucking comments there, right? So first of all, socialism. He's using the he's using the S word to, to slander the idea of a, a universal single payer health care system. Now people when they I guess I gotta review it, right? What is single payer health care? Single payer health care is the, the single payer is the US government. We have a system called Medicaid, right? And if you're over sixty five, you get it anyway. Sixty I think there's like five hundred million not 500. There's 50 million people that already receive uh, some form of free Medicaid, free, you know, a, a universal single payer system where they don't really see a bill. Right. And the rest of us are, are left to scrounge and fucking, you, you know, you get stuck in a job that you don't want to leave because you got your Medicaid. Right? All these things. Right? But the, the answer, the simple answer is, how is it that all of the, the rest of the civilized countries have a single payer? Uh, they guarantee health care to all the citizens as a right, right? It's simple, right? It's easy. We already have the system. It's not complicated. Why don't, why doesn't, who's the, who's the opponents to it? It's big pharma. There's so much money to be made in controlling big pharma. It controls the stock market, all the pharmaceutical companies, all the, 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 the middleman insurance companies that profit in, in big pharma, the doctors, the, the hospitals, the, the medical schools. There's so much money in big pharma, the pushing of drugs, the controlling of, the, of, uh, of substances and charging people. Okay. And they're saying, I mean, he made another outrageous comment that, that, that Americans 
older Americans bought into a system of Medicaid. That's true, right? But they, they, most people on Medicaid, I'll give you an example. Most people on Medicaid, right, if you're over 65 and you retire with an SSA or SSD, right, you, you get about, 60, about $750 a month to live on, right? And if your rent is high, if your rent is up around six or 700, you can't, how do you live, right? How do most of these older Americans live in this day and age when the, 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 the money that they were waiting for isn't enough to live, right? And then on top of that, they don't get a single payer system of health care. They get a version of it, which is why, why the, the, the Republican side of the aisle and the Democrats want to keep Medicaid the way it is because they turned it into a cash cow. They're charging now people. Right? They're charging people for medications. They're, 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 they're instituting fees on top of the thing that they earned. They spent their whole lives earning this, this universal, you know, this, this um, social, social, service, social security, right? And now they figured out a way to charge them for it. So the answer is, and always has been, and they always go for the S word. It's socialism, right? Whenever it's something for the people where, I don't know, the, the polls, I don't know, do we believe polls anymore? But about 65 or 70 percent, that's seven out of 10 people when you ask them and you explain to them in a, in, in, in a rational way and in a way that makes sense to the regular people what single payer universal health care is and why it should be guaranteed and what the savings to our country is and what how it elevates the overall health of our country and our citizenry right when you explain it to them they're almost always for it right it doesn't cost more it costs less you you're eliminating all the middlemen all these insurance companies they're terrified because if if single payer universal health care goes through right and it will in our lifetime it has to because there's there's no it's almost, it's almost, you know, it's you, you almost can't. It's unescapable at this point that that's the way to go. So that's healthcare. What else is he going to talk about now? Oh, fucking guy, this guy's killing me here. So, so you've got the, you know, the Democrats against the Republicans, right? Republicans, right? They're, he's he's saying the Republicans, right? The fucking Republicans. That's the answer, right? So he's switching, this he's switching seats on the aisle. It's like, it's like, this is your president, right? This was the savior. This is the genius of Trump, right? Now, all of a sudden, when nobody's looking, everybody's paying attention to the, you know, the shit show on TV with Rosenstein and the rabbit holes. Everybody's down a rabbit hole with their head in, the, in, in a rabbit hole. Here's Trump out in Missouri talking to the commoners, right? Because the thinkers are all occupied, right? He's got all the thinkers. All the thinkers are, are you know, engrossed in the in the shit show, right? That is Rosenstein. That is Comey. That is Lock Hillary up and, and, and all this shit that's going on, right? But this is the reality of what they're messaging, what your government, what your president is messaging to regular people. Right? That's what's going on. So, um... Let's talk about the final. Let's see what else he says. Now he's going to go. He's going to go after the military, right? So those are the three big complexes. There's there's the stock market and all that. All that's tied to it. There's big pharma, you know, uh, Medicare, the, the big pharma power grab, right? And now let's look at the military industrial complex. Let's, let's see what he says about that one. And at my direction, the Pentagon is working hard to create a sixth branch of the United States Armed Forces called Space Force. And we secured a record $700 billion for our military this year and $716 billion next year. That will do things. No country is even close. We're defending wealthy, wealthy countries, and we're not being reimbursed, okay? So we're doing it step by step. Go to the wealthiest countries in the world. You know, we've been defending you for like 30, 40 years. It's time you sort of help out a little bit here, folks. So that's pretty interesting. You have the President of the United States telling you, in his own words, what are, what that seven, your $700 billion in in uh, escalated military spending went for 
it's he's telling you it's not did he say security at home to make you to make you feel safe against enemies no he told you it's a business they they provide cover all around the world that's what the u.s does we provide cover through military might and and businesses can then go in there and disrupt and steal all the fucking money and all the all the resources right that's what the military does. That's what that's our current state of the military industrial complex is. That's what the money is for. And the president is telling you that in his own words, right? It's not about security and 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 again, I think the solution is and always has been in the young people. I, I talked about that in the previous video that if young people, the boots on the ground di defect, the 200,000 new kids ages 18 to 24 that sign up every year decide not to sign up. If they sign, they decide not to sign up. You, my friends, are the leading. You can take because you see how the money is allocated. That seven hundred billion dollars is right now is waiting to be spent. Ah, I fucking ah, oh, they, they, you know, while everybody's paying attention to the bullshit shit show, right? They're they're trying to figure out how they're going to spend the seven hundred billion dollars, and they haven't. They don't have an enemy, right? It's coming, false flag, it's coming, right? Brace yourself. They're going to get that enemy and they're going to put that money into play, right? But it's brilliant in that Trump is telling you that 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 what the what it's really about. It's about that 700 billion. You see him say, "Yeah, we're going to, you know, what are we, we what are we doing this for free? What are we what are we protecting everybody for free?" It's like the mob. That's what it is. It's like the fucking mob. So, all right. So, this is a summary. I mean, I didn't. I, I, I think that. Um, see, there's, there's, there's what we know, right? It's what we know, and then there's what, what the politician tells you, right? Now, people still believe in Trump, despite what, despite what he says from the podium. You just saw it in his own words. You saw him that. He knows very little about the stock market and how it equates to jobs and how the economy, the real economy affects real people. He doesn't know what he's talking about or he's just reading off talking points. He does know it and he's just reading off talking points. And he, he's doing the classic, that classic, you know, politician shuffle where it's Democrat versus Republican, where he's pitting these two sides against each other and as long as you're fighting they're stealing the money right as long as you're occupied and thinking that you have a fair and free election which we don't it's all fucking rigged anyway right and and people are fighting amongst each other right then corporations can just continue with the with the with the policy which is you know take all the money and run right and leave people in in abject poverty i said it right abject poverty Right? where people have just enough to squeak by. They work, they work, they work, and they, they have no possibility whatsoever of accumulating any significant wealth, meaning that they can't you know, work for a year and then you know, save a couple of grand, take a trip, or... or, or, or well, you can't. You just got to keep your head down and work, 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 work. That's Trump's economy. Not him, not him per se, not his family or not his children or not his, you know, anybody close to him because he lives in a, in, a, in a fucking elite world anyway, right? That's how he grew up. But you, you keep your fucking head down and keep working. Work until you die. And then when you're almost dead, well, you, you'll get your $750 a month and maybe you'll get 192 in food stamps. And if your rent happens to be $800, you know, then fuck you, you know, that's, look, hey, this is America, man, what the, you know, why, you didn't save anything, what's wrong with you, man, it's your fucking fault, it's your fucking fault, it's your problem, it's your problem that you didn't save in this, in America, and tough, it's tough. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, opinionist, reporter here on YouTube, and in the fall, candidate for the United States Senate. And if they'd let us build that wall faster, if Congress could give us those funds, the thing I do best is build. I could build the whole thing in a year. Ask Israel whether or not a wall works. It works. It works.